If pasta is here, it's another Monday. It's our segment where we tell you all about the fun things you can do in the borderline this week. Well, as always, we speak with the fantastic Lauren Falco with Destination El Paso, who tells us all this week's upcoming events. Take a look. this yeah, first. No, this Welcome is... to Que Pasa. We <laughs> lost our mind over this place. We're going crazy. This is yes, insane. Exactly. We're here at Cafe Rose. Mm -hmm. It is a relatively new place to mm -hmm. El Paso and I think we're both in awe with the drinks, the atmosphere, we're, everything's pink. We're, we're overwhelmed with pink and I love it. I love it too. I think, <laughs> I think I'm also blushing right, right now. I'm just like, I cannot wait to try I'm this. I'm pinker inside because of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lauren, uh, tell me a little bit about this place. So Cafe Rosé, they opened in December of 2023 and uh, obviously pink, right? Like they have a theme and they stick to it and we love okay. that. Um, one of their cool seasonal items right now is actually a Mean Girls theme. So they have a burn book, which is what yes. I'm drinking. Um, and then this is their lemonade, their signature lemonade, which is a rose. Um, and what I'm really excited about is like, it's downtown, like it's walkable. Yes. You can like park anywhere you want, come to the cafe. They have lunch, dinner, breakfast. I mean, it's, it's insane. They have pink burgers. They have pink burgers and I heard they have pink tortillas. Amazing. What else do you need? And of course, Valentine's Day is coming up. It's In coming two up. days, you might want to take out your boo. This is a great For last minute place because yes. we so all know you guys are, are are doing last minute here so this is a good place for last minute and it's sort of a hidden gem too so oh, i'm totally. pretty sure your significant other is going to be very surprised but uh, let's get to our events right now of course we're talking about valentine's day we yes. have something happening at the silo bar yeah so uh if you are if you are uncoupled if you are looking um we have something called singles all the way um, and that is going to happen at Silo Bar, as you mentioned, um, February 15th. And it's, an, it's a free event. It's with a matchmaker. They're going to have people nice. like activities, games, um, and it's just kind of a cool way to meet new people. Moving on from Valentine's Day, it's funny, this kind of looks like a cloud, which also reminds me of really an event. <laughs> uh, yeah, of an event that's happening, a cloud fair. Tell yes. us about it. When is it happening? What is it? So a cloud fair is a sensory friendly event. So those who are sensitive to loud noises or loud light, you know, bright lights, um, this is kind of perfect for children. Spring is coming up and many might be thinking about upgrading their home, their garden. Luckily, there is an event for that. It happens annually at the El Paso Convention Center. It's called the El Paso Spring and Home Garden Show. Um, it's kind of perfect for, like you said, those who want to update their space, maybe create like a nice outdoor space. Um, they'll have vendors, they'll have, uh, you know, people that you can really talk to to understand the work. The El Paso Home and Garden Show is this weekend at the Convention Center. For some theater and music lovers yes. and lovers of Queen, which us, is yes. us, <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, something happening at the UTEP Dinner Theater. Yes, so the UTEP Dinner Theater has incredible shows all year round. Um, I highly suggest going to see their, their site. They have an entire season. Um, but right now, coming up on February 17th at 6.30 p.m., they're gonna have a performance of We Will Rock You, which is a musical, uh, they call it a jukebox musical, but it's essentially uh, the music of Queen in a story format. So Cinta de Oro, who's like a very popular wrestler in El Paso, um, he is going to be performing on February 18th at the El Maida Shrine in the Noche de Champions. So, like, this is it, man. You've got to go see. <laughs> it's wrestling. It's going to be high pack, like, action. Okay, Lauren, thank you so much for joining us once again. Always. Lots of fun stuff in the city. And we are here at Cafe Rosé. Uh, I, I just want to showcase these drinks again because they're amazing. Incredible. Uh, thank you for joining us for another week of Que Pasa. Do not forget, you can find all the information, all the tickets, information, everything else you need on visitelpaso.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back next week. <laughs>